Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. And one more thing, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help my ranking with YouTube. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I've been working on remaking my messy craft room and I'm closing in on being done. But this last project just kind of popped up because I love suitcases and old train cases and so I've collected quite a few over the years but and I store a lot of uh, craft supplies in them but since my uh, room makeover I was kind of looking at my suitcases and they looked a little too shabby and I'd always meant to put some better tags on them so I could remember what was inside of them so in today's video I'm going to be remaking uh, a couple of suitcases and also making some new tags for the suitcases to label what's in there and if you've seen some of my other videos you also know that my craft room has kind of taken on an Alice in Wonderland theme so this project does as well so here are a couple of the suitcases that I'm going to be giving a makeover to you can see I have just kind of a little lazy tag on there right now and that they're pretty dirty and scuffed up so the first step was to clean them up a little bit and then to add a primer coat of paint. Once the primer coat was dry, I was ready to add my top coat color, which I'm just adding to the main body of the train case here. I'm going to be using a cream color for the trim. So uh, you could tape things off. I kind of just budge my way through with a small paintbrush to get around some of the small spots. And then for this one I used a larger paintbrush to paint the body of the suitcase. But I actually found on subsequent paint jobs that a foam brush was a little bit easier to work with and I got some nice uh, straight clean edges but the brush worked as well. Here I'm using a small paintbrush to add my cream color to the trim and I will mention that painting the cases took a lot longer than I thought it was going to mostly because you have to you have so many angles and so many sides so you have to paint part of it and then let it dry before you can flip it over and paint the rest of it so it did take a little bit of time to paint all four of the cases that I painted. So on a couple of the suitcases I was fixing, the hardware was actually the shabbiest looking part and I wasn't sure how I was going to fix that, but I found these CraftSmart uh, gold paint pens. Uh, I think I got them at uh, Michael's. They are actually paint, so they have a ball inside and you have to shake them. They're, the big one was, was $5 and then the, there was a two pack of the smaller ones that was 4 or $5 as well. Um, but they actually worked very well to make the hardware look much nicer. And they were pretty easy to use. The only thing is, uh, you know, you get the feeling that you're working with a marker. But of course you're not, so you have to be careful not to stick your hand back in it because it is paint and it does need time to dry. To make the tags, I used my computer to print out some different silhouettes of Alice in Wonderland characters and tag shapes. To make the tags, I'm starting with my template and I have some bias tape here. You could use ribbon or string, whatever you wanted. I'm just using it to make a little bit of a loop to hang the tag with. And then I have two pieces of chipboard from cardboard boxes 
my glue stick, and some clean release uh, masking tape. So I'm just going to tape my template onto one of the pieces of cardboard so that I can cut out the shape. All right, so I think I made this part a little more complicated than it needed to be. Basically, I'm just trying to sandwich a small ribbon loop between the two pieces of cardboard and then cut them out at one time. So I'm using the glue stick to glue the two pieces of cardboard together. And then I just want to stick a small uh, loop of ribbon between the two pieces of cardboard. Once the shape is completely cut out, you can just easily remove the template and put it aside. Since I'm using silhouette shapes, I decided to paint them black and this was very simple to do because I had a built-in handle with the loop that I'd put on there. So I'm using a soft brush to brush a coat of black paint on both sides of the shape and then I'll hang it up to dry. To finish off the edges of my shape, I have some gold metallic paint. I used the brand made by Tulip, and I just wanted to put uh, edging around. So I used the bottle with the very small squeeze tip and just carefully squeezed a bead of paint along all of the edges. For this next step, I'm going back to my gold paint pens and I'm just practicing uh, writing some of my labeling so that I can decide what font I want to use and also so I can kind of practice using the pen and know how much space I'm going to need for the labels. I like to practice a couple of different ways before I actually put uh, writing on a permanent spot. So I also used the templates from my labels to practice on so that I know exactly how much spacing I needed and whether I could fit the wording onto the actual label itself. Over the years I've collected a lot of uh, watch parts for some reason. I like to do crafts with watches and I've collected the bands uh, but I've never had a use for them before. So I decided to use the watch bands to actually hook my tags onto the suitcases. So here I'm just using some fiber uh, tack glue to glue the two pieces of the wristband uh, back together and then I'm going to use a little bit of ribbon and some more uh, fabric tack to secure the seam a little bit better. So once the glue was dry my seams 
seem pretty sturdy and they're not going to get a lot of pull on them anyway. So I have some nice little buckles to secure my tags onto my suitcases. But I did want them to match the tags. So I went back to my black paint and I'm just using the same technique to paint both sides of the strap and then I'll hang them to dry. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. You can ask those in the comment section below. Also check out some of my other craft room makeover projects. I'll put all the links in the video comments. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.